Hi, today we continue training in Module 7 of Consign Pro where we're going to take a look at some options available across the top of our menu here. On last module we looked at the disk menu and the tools menu. We're going to go across and hit scheduler next. The scheduler tool is in Consign Pro to book your consignment appointments and instructions on how to use this are going to be right up here in the top left. How to add an appointment, delete an appointment, or change an appointment right here in the top left corner of the screen. To add an appointment, we slick, simply click a date on the calendar we'd like to make the appointment for. We click a time in the grid below. We'll make it at 11 a.m. We're going to click the activity. For a consignment appointment with our good friend Daffy Duck, and we're going to click add appointment. That will appear in the calendar, and when you start the program up in the morning, uh, assuming this little checkbox that says show schedule when Consign Pro starts is checked, you'll see what appointments you have for the day or you could go to our reports page on our other reports tab and you could print the schedule for either today or tomorrow so that you'll have a list right on paper of all the appointments that you have you can also click on <clears throat> block out times let's say you have lunch every day from noon to one those times will now be blocked out Uh, that pretty much concludes uh, how to add an appointment, how to block out times. You set uh, in the top right corner what employee will be working on the appointment if that's necessary. And that pretty much concludes how the schedule works. It's a it's an admittedly rudimentary tool, but a lot of store owners do like it for booking their consignment appointments. It is right in the program and it can alert you every time you start the program what your appointments are for the day. Uh, other options across the top, we've got our QuickBooks. Uh, we're going to cover that in its entirety in one of the modules coming up, so we're going to skip that from now. We also have suppliers. If you're ever wondering, hey, where, did I, where do I go for tags and labels? Uh, who do I use for credit card processing, gift cards, loyalty cards, website design? All of our vendors, our preferred vendors, are right in this list. You can click on one at any time and you'll always have their phone number handy. If you need to reorder supplies or uh, find out what's up with a credit card charge uh, through X charge, just click on this menu at the top and you'll have all of our suppliers information handy right there. Uh, internet across the top, we've got some options. Join us on Facebook. We've got a great new Facebook page that you should be a part of. Uh, clicking join us on Facebook will launch our Facebook page and allow you to join that group. Uh, MyResaleWeb.com, uh, we're going to talk about that later. Remote Data Loader, that's going to be under our online services. Both of those will be on our online services training module. Uh, these other four options here uh, simply have to do with taking you to our order page, our update page, our connections page, or our networking page, all on our website. Uh, and those might be helpful to you as you're working in Consign Pro. We've got some email options down below. The email options allow you to send emails directly from the Consign Pro program using your internet connection to either Consign Pro support, that's us over here, or your consigners. And we've got some subgroups, all consigners, consigners coded with a certain code on their consigner screen, or we could send a, do no, a donation report to all of your consigners for last year. That would be typically done in the first quarter of 2012. We would send a donation report to anybody who had donations on their account over 2011. So those are some kind of neat options. Uh, email all customers. If you want to do some marketing right from Consign Pro to email all your customers that you have email addresses for already, we can email all customers right from this menu. I'm going to go into email Consign Pro support and that's going to open up a sample email note right in the program. And there's two fields that are very, very important. They need to be filled in correctly. One is our outgoing mail server, and the other is the port number. Now, we don't know what to tell you to put in there because it's going to be different based on who your internet service provider is. There's a question mark over here on the right. When you click it, it's going to tell you exactly what I just said. You're going to need to contact your internet service provider and ask them, what is my outgoing mail server and what is the port number? Once they give you that information, you're going to type that in here, such as mail. This won't work for you, so don't try it. Mail.consignpro.com. The port is generally port 25. Looks like I did a paste there by accident. We're going to get rid of that. You may need to authenticate here, too. Under Authenticate, 
Uh, we'd want to put in a username. That's how I log into my email. And we put in a password. When you do those two things and you've got this set up correctly, then you can type in a note and hit send and it'll send email to consign pro support. Now getting this set up the first time is all you need to do. Once it's set up right, you'll be able to email your consigners either one at a time or in groups and email all your customers. So getting this right the first time is all that you need to do. Consign Pro will save that. All you would do on this screen is obviously type in a message, hit send mail. We're gonna close out of the screen right now because I wanna show you where that screen comes up uh, through the consigner window as well. We found it under internet where we were emailing Consign Pro support, consigners, or customers. If you wanted to send an individual email note to a consigner, you would go and look them up on the Find Consigner screen and click on Send Email Note on the right. Same screen comes up, same settings are there. We've got some templates down here though. One is recently received items. When I click that, it's gonna pop in a list of items that consigner just dropped off. So instead of handing them a printout of items they left with you, you can use that button to generate a email of items they just dropped off, click send, and they'll have the list of items uh, they dropped off as a receipt. Complete item history, same thing. Uh, it'll, all items ever dropped off in the store. Account activity since last payout and complete account history will show them uh, exactly what's going on in their account. Again, once this is set up correctly, send mail, we'll send the email directly to the consigner with their information. So this is a real easy way to stay in touch with your consigners via email and have Consign Pro build those email notes for you uh, using the four predefined templates. You can also up here at the top create a new template. It'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a, a new email template for your store. Uh, maybe one of your templates says, uh, you know, where have you been? We haven't seen you in a while. Maybe another one says, your consignment is over, it's time to come pick up your things. Uh, once you have those templates selected, they'll appear right here in a list under the word verified, and you can select them. It'll build the body of the email note, and all you'll do is hit send. This is a real helpful feature for staying in touch with your consigners. It's free, it's built into the program, and all you need to do is configure it correctly the first time with the help of either our support team or your ISP, that's your internet service provider, or maybe sometimes a combination of the two. Jumping back to the main menu, I think that concludes most of the options available on the internet screen here. We're gonna look at some other options later. Get remote data has to do with our online store, upload online store, remote data loader, myresaleweb.com. All of those online features are gonna be discussed in one training module, so I don't wanna cover them twice here. Lastly, our help menu has a few options up here uh, that just simply tell you more about Consign Pro. What our point of sale hardware options look like, receipt printers, cash drawers, scanning guns, that kind of stuff, how to order them, how much they cost, how they work with Consign Pro to make your life easier. Uh, our license agreement is here. Uh, our support team may have you run Team Viewer. That's an option in this menu. That allows us to remotely connect to your computer to troubleshoot and help you out when you have a problem. Our support team may direct you to go into Team Viewer on this menu as well. So that pretty much concludes our scheduler, uh, suppliers, internet, and help menus. We went pretty quickly through that. Uh, we've kind of run out of time. Our next module uh, will probably talk a little bit more about uh, either our online services or the QuickBooks menu. So please join us for the next module, and thank you.